Hey folks, welcome back to Sky Factory 2. I am uh, starting on a thing here today. And I'm going to need a boatload of wood for this. And yeah. So I, uh, the pack updated. Because it's been um, like a month or more since I think it's been uh, before New Year's. It was still 2014 last time I played Sky Factory. And, um, yeah. Now, this, some of this needs to go away. Okay, now this one can go away. <coughs> Excuse me. I've had a cold. Uh, I'm feeling much better now. I'm still a little, uh, little tickle in the throat, but, uh, that will, that will go away. So, Sarah, you're asking me, what the hell are you doing? Well, uh, I've never actually done this on camera, so I thought maybe this time I could. Uh, I am building my mob tower, is what I'm doing. And if you remember, um, at some point towards the end of my winter vacation, I played Sky Factory 2 on the live stream on Twitch, and, um, you notice it's day seven, it's pouring down rain. Well, I think I was about 14 or 15 days in, and it had not rained once. Just to have, you know, give people something somewhat amusing to watch, I built the most rudimentary possible mob farm, which was just a dark room made out of wood, and it was awful. Um, it kept getting blown up. And I, there was literally nothing else that I could do because I couldn't do anything that needed water. I couldn't make a bucket. I couldn't make an infinite water source. I could not do diddly jack squat other than, you know, I, I twerked for trees for about three hours and it was, it was awful. But, uh, have no such problem on this world. Oh no, this world, uh, we're doing just fine and I'm, uh, out of wood. Okay, I'm just gonna... It's alright. Okay, back up we go. Alright, so basically, um... Let's see. One... How far up are we? I'm gonna go up, um... I was gonna just use up all these ladders, but I'm thinking that might be overkill. Ah, uh, no pun intended. I don't need it to kill the mobs outright. I just need it to weaken them so that I can stab them in the kneecaps with whatever weapon I happen to have handy. Whatever killing iron I happen to have. And uh, that will take them down. I think this is probably plenty tall. Alright, very, very carefully now. I'm going to throw a torch down right away. And, uh, whew, this is like the beginning of Sky Factory all over again. <sighs> okay, now I can relax for a second. <sighs> okay. Oh, snap, I forgot to bring a sign. That's okay. I'm going to probably have to go down and get some more wood here before too long anyway. So, um, oh god. This is, this is one of the things that I don't like doing. Um, it scares the hell out of me. Once I get it up a little... A little bigger. Ah, there we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, weather sprites. Okay, I can rest my finger a little. Rest my little pinky. How am I doing on wood? A uh, crappy on wood. Okay. <laughs> Oh, there's a mega tree down there, though. That's good. Oh, crap. Um, I did not plant enough torches down there. There's, there's things living down there. Son, bad time. Get off the table. Ugh. And, um, yeah. Okay, well, uh, I've got a hoe. <laughs> I've got a hammer. Okay, hammer has some uh, attack damage on it, so, um. Okay, note to self, plant a few more torches. 
Hey, bud. Hey, guys. Welcome. You're my first mobs. Hi. Okay. Die? Yes. Yes. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Okay. Um, no, no, oh, poop. Okay. Ah, there's the problem. So I, I, uh, when I updated the pack, I added, went ahead and added the, um, the extra inventory, the extra hotbar mod. At this point, I'm not real sure I like it. Uh, I may make it go away. I think I've, uh, the extra hot bar might be, oh, jeez, a little too much of a good thing, and I had no idea how much uh, spawnable area I had here. Let's just fix that right now, shall we? Let's fix that all right now. Oh, my God. Yeah, that ought to be high enough. That ought to be plenty high. Okay, good. So, uh, there's some rotten flesh. There's some mini Kio essence. There's a red heart. Oh, I got a bow! I got a bow. How about that? So let's put the, the essence away. This is the new magical crops, then. Put the heart away. Am I hungry? I'm not hungry. I'm going to put the bow away for now, because I have no am ammunition for it. I'm going to put these ladders away. And we're going to punch us some trees. Let me get my crook. Let me make a fresh one. Because we're going to need it. Yeah, that that's plenty tall. Alright. i just uh, start punching here. Because, yeah, apparently I can't really get a serviceable axe until I get a smeltery. And that sucks the big, big one. The big spicy one, yeah. Uh, the big spicy what? Feel free to use your imagination. This is a, uh, a PG-13 channel. Or at least a PG-13 series on the channel. Okay. So the uh, the uh, more uh, grown-up parts of the channel. I played a buttload of Deadly Premonition this weekend. And I am up to what is most likely the second to last episode in the series. I am going to miss that stupid game so much. And I'm going to be playing it on the stream again. Because there's a whole crap ton of side quests that I missed that I'm going to need to do to get some achievements and stuff. Um, but yeah, I just... God, I love that game. I love that stupid game so much. Yeah, it's got bad voice acting and bad script writing and bad graphics sometimes and bad controls and bad gameplay and it is still one of the best games I've ever played and I will fight you on that. You, time and place, pick a parking lot, I, I will, I will physically fight you. <laughs> but, <laughs> I've been playing that, and of course, uh, if you've been play following me on Tuesdays, I've been playing um, Puzzle Agent, a, a, a game that I bought for like three bucks during the street Steam Winter Sale, has become now one of my other favorite story games. So, um, I am just absolutely dying, whoops, to draw Deadly Premonition fan art in the Puzzle Agent, uh, Grickle style. Which I may do on the stream sometime. I may do an art stream and we may do that. Just because. Just because. It, it's a thing that needs to exist. And the sheriff, well, I... I George and Sheriff Bog could pretty much be twins. I mean, well, I th there's things that I'm not going to get into on the uh, spoilery side of Deadly Premonition. But, um, yeah. Okay, we, we've got a mega tree here. Which is good, because I need the wood. Really bad. Um, but this is going to be a pain in the butt. Because I'm going to have to edit a bunch of Crapola out here. Alright, I'm gonna beat some more leaves here. 
And, okay, I think I'm just gonna let these go naturally. Because there doesn't seem to be any more wood in them. And we're gonna be here all day. If I, uh, collect it the old-fashioned way. If I beat on them with a crook. So, screw them. There's, there's plenty. There's plenty of saplings. Thank you. And I'm just gonna punch these here down. Oh, and you just decided to grow, didn't you? And you're a mega tree, aren't you? You son of a gun. You did that on purpose. You did that on purpose. You leafy bastard. So yes, uh, with the end of Deadly Premonition <coughs> imminent, um, I'm trying to decide what to play next for Sarah Plays a Scary Thing. I still have seven days to die that I've only played the one time, and I have a world that I've actually, um, I've taken over a house and have actually been doing fairly well in. I might show that off. I have a game called How to Survive that I thought I might just play on the stream, but I might do it on uh, on the channel once or twice. I have, let's see, I have Presentable Liberty, which I have not touched yet. I know that um, I, I've heard some things about some other people playing it, and it seems to be a game that would be right up my alley. So that one is uh, a definite maybe. See if I've got any more logs hiding up ends. And if not, we're just gonna let it go. I'll pick all this up. Now I've got loads of saplings to make dirt with now, and thus to make rocks with, and thus to make cobble with. And thus, to make a cobble gin with. Alright. I think this one's got some stuff in it. Yeah. There you go. There you go. And there you go. And some more are just going to keep falling here. Tell you what, I'll keep going to this crook runs out. And or until I can no longer reach leaves. Oh, good. Got a buttload of wood, at least. Alright. There's some up uh some fill in the pond. Okay, good. You actually fell. Sometimes they do that thing where they act like they fall down, but they don't fall down. But that that one is uh, not doing the thing. That one's actually falling. It's obeying the laws of gravity. Oh, you're still... Okay, you're the one that wasn't full. Alright. Give me all of you. Give me you. Alright, let's make us some... Uh... <coughs> Here we go. Alright. Oh, thank you. Oh, I see you. It's like an Easter egg hunt. Hey, there we go. Are you... You're done. Alright. And that's it for now. Okay. Uh, what, did I, what all did I get? I got ten rocks and some grass seeds. Okay. Oh, and, uh, no... No, that's not coal. That's charcoal. Alright. Into the chest with ye. And with ye. And, um... I have a wool. I can make a bed. Okay, um, I need another chest. Let's just turn all of that all that into planks. Make another chest. Throw it down. And in you go. 
<clears throat> okay, I'm gonna put the bucket away. Put the charcoal away. Okay, everything else um, is stuff that I can replace easily if I happen to eat a void sandwich while I'm working on this thing. Uh, I need to make a sign. Let's see, do I want to make spikes? Oh, well, I can't now because I've already used up all my logs. Um, are you dirt? You're dirt. Okay. And melon seeds. Hells yes. Alright, in you go. Okay, oh, you can just stay there for now. Alright, I'm gonna at least try to get the, uh... Get most of this done. On camera. We've already wasted ridiculous amounts of time... Punching down a mega tree. So let's, uh... <sighs> Let's, um, let's fix this, shall we? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure I'm crazy about the extra hotbar. I'm really not. Okay. And then I'm gonna go, let's see. I'm gonna see if... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put these here. So we can kind of see where the channel is going to be, where the water channels are going to be. <laughs> I hate this. Um, okay, I'm going to go out, I think, one more. <coughs> one, two, four, five, six, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, that's something I'm, that is confusing me about this um, extra inventory, or extra, uh, extra hotbar. It keeps wanting to throw stuff back in my inventory now when I'm run out. And normally it puts more things right in my hot little hand. But that's okay. Well, I think I may just disable that mod. And we'll go back to having a normal hot bar and a normal inventory. I think we had just a little too much of a good thing there. Okay. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Now what I'm going to do is... I'm going to start... Building up a wall. See? Look at that. No, no, not there. Oh, okay. See you later, Torch. <laughs> I guess I'll pick you up later. And that's it. Alright. Have I any uh, trees grown down there? Ah, th yes, yes, we have trees. Okay. I'm going to go down and get some more wood then. Now these ladders will all be going away. Once the uh, thing is done. Once I have done the thing. Up top. I'm going to close the safety gate here. Close the safety gate there. And where's my crook? There it is. Okay. punch this tree down. Hopefully that'll give me just enough wood to finish up the uh, the rim up there. Actually, while I'm down here, uh, before I turn this all into planks, I'm going to make the spikes. And wood spikes should be enough. Because, I mean, again, I don't need to kill them outright. 
I just need to tenderize them so that there we are they will f if they happen to survive the drop I will be able to just uh, gently poke them in the kneecaps okay one crook and that's enough for three swords which should be enough to make all my spikes Now, you better give up more saplings than that. Oh, hey, my wheat's ripening up here. Okay. Okay. We're good. Okay. And another thing that I would like to get started on is uh, pumpkins. Once I uh, get to where I can sift out some dirt... Hopefully get me some pumpkins so that uh, I can put them on my head. Because one of the side effects of having the mob dropper tower like this is endermen tend to escape from it. So, uh, unless I only make it too high, in which case the ender bros will not spawn in it. Yeah, they may spawn on top of it. Well, I'll just light it up on top and we'll... We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. Alright. Oh, snap. I need, um... I think that's what I need. That's what I need. Actually, I need two batches of these. Uh, plank, plank, plank. Log. And uh, so much for my wood supply there. Jeez. Well, I should still have enough. I will not place the spikes until I am almost ready to uh, finish this thing off. Because I, I will have to walk on the spikes. Anybody home? Okay. I will have to walk on them and that will hurt my little tender tootsies. So I'd like to not do that. Well, maybe I'll have enough to... No, I won't. No, I won't. Okay, well, real quick, let's run, how, run through how this is going to work. So this, I'm going to just kind of use uh, slabs for right now to illustrate. This is going to be, all these corners are going to be platforms like so. And this is all going to be filled in. This is where the things will spawn. Water will go here in the channels in between, leading to this hole. Um, I will put spikes here, 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 and here. And also here, 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 and here. So that, you know, things will get swept past them. And um, this will also help with spiders. Because these spiders will get caught on the spikes and they will get hurt and they will uh, eventually die. So uh, there, there will be a sign here so that mobs will be drawn to the hole by the water. They will, the water will only be one block deep. They will dip down beneath the water. The ladders, of course, will be gone. And uh, with nothing there to stop them, they will fall and they will break their legs. And then I will come and put them out of their misery with a gentle poke from a weapon of some sort. You'll see it in action next time, folks. So I'm going to do some work, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.